Good morning. <coughs> well, I hope you enjoyed your little run around the Dolomites yesterday over some of the passes. Excuse me, I just need to find my remote trigger. It's a little on the chilly side at minus 11, and the sun is up. I am at Lake Miss Arena, so I'm still a little bit dodgy on the pronunciations. And I've come down to get the classic shot, which is, I'll just spin you around, the hotel at the end of the lake with the mountains behind. And the sun, as you can see, is just popping its head above and lighting up the tops of the mountains. So I'm just going to fire off a shot. I tried one a little bit earlier on. Just spin you back round. The place, the whole place, is just absolutely phenomenal. At the moment, I'm shooting with the 17-55. So I'm just straighten you up a second. Okay, 17.55, I'm at almost full reach. I'm on F8, ISO 100, and a sixth of a second. I have the polarizer on, which may not have been the best idea because the sun's coming in at a bit of a funny angle and it's causing the left-hand side of the image to look really blue and the right-hand side of the image, the sky, not quite so. Sorry, you've disappeared, there we go. Um, but it's making the white absolutely pop. Let me just twist it around a little bit, yeah. That's better. So I've just dropped that up to one tenth of a second as we're catching the light hitting the tops of the mountains and the clouds on, on the just sitting above. There is no wind, which I'm quite glad of because at minus 11, a wind chill, oh, that would be horrendous. Now, the lake that you've just seen, let me just see if I can spin you around again. Whoops. There we go. That's actually a lake. And it's solid, absolutely frozen solid. I'm not feeling quite brave enough to walk out on it yet. I'll wait till the locals come out and start doing that because I'm a bit of a chicken. But the roads, oh my God. <laughs> The snow is piled high on either side of the road and the roads themselves are absolutely clear. There's more grit than I've, I've seen in my life on a road surface and I guess because it's ski season they've got to keep the roads clear otherwise they lose business. Because <laughs> considering England goes into complete meltdown and comes to a standstill with like a half an inch of snow, this is just phenomenal, it really is. And I know there's certain people who are going to hate me for saying phenomenal. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. And I'll catch up with you when I find somewhere else. Bye!
Now you may have just seen me do a little jig. I've finished at Lake Miserano, Miserino, and decided just to go for a drive. We're past the best of the light. I thought I'd have a scout around, see what I could find. Just I'm on holiday. I'm supposed to be just chilling and relaxing. And I was driving along the top road of this valley, which I think is Arunzo. When I glanced over to my right, which was a bit dodgy because I looked right and the car went left, and I saw this. Now that's enough to make a girl's heart sing. Reflections. So I've parked about three miles down there and I walked along the edge of the water, which was quite tricky. The water level has obviously been a lot higher because there's ice particles and ice flows all the way along the side of the, bank, uh, uh, the embankment. So you couldn't actually get down to the water's edge because the, the ice that's there is, is kind of breaking up, it's making some beautiful patterns. The temperature is considerably warmer here. We're at a near minus two, I think. So that's why this river, at least I'm presuming it's river, um, isn't frozen. Beautiful turquoise. I've not seen anything like that since I was in the Caribbean. It's just amazing. It is, I don't know, nine o'clock. It's Wednesday, so it's a work day. There was a few people around this morning, but even so, it's ridiculously quiet. So I've set up a shot, unsurprisingly, very boringly. Where are you gone? There you are. Straight across, looking at the hills and the trees beyond. There's actually a building at the top of that hill, I'm presuming it's something to do with the ski centre. And there was a little band of mist between the first hill and the hill at the back when I started. I've got set up again on the 17 to 55. I'm shooting at 17 mil, so as wide as I can. I'm on f11 and 100 ISO, strangely enough. The last image that I got gave me an exposure of 51.6 seconds. Got the polarizer on, which is causing me a little bit of a conundrum because when I turn it to bring out the blue or the greeny blue of the water, I'm losing some of the reflections. When I turn it to bring out the reflections, I'm losing the colour of the water. <laughs> I might try and blend a couple of images when I get home. But this is just absolutely amazing. And it's so peaceful. I've seen a couple of people dog walking. Uh, and that's it. <sighs> this, I believe, believe, is Lago di Arunzo. And it was one of the places on the list. There's another composition that I'm going to shoot straight down the lake framed with the mountains at the back you've got the houses some of which are quite brightly colored there's yellows and oranges and there's wooden ones and then you've got the reflection in the lake so i'm going to do that it's a real shame i can't shoot that way but it's straight into the sun because the color of the water is even better there oh so yeah i was actually trying to get higher um i'd headed off up Paso to something. Um, and when I saw this reflection, I thought, no, I've, I've got to come down and shoot this. So, yeah, absolutely first class. The lakes at the higher altitudes are frozen, obviously. So, I'm really pleased that I've managed to find one that's got reflections, that's got the beautiful water. And I'm waffling. So, I shall see you in a wee while. Bye for now. <laughs>